Hi! In this lesson, you'll learn more about variable scopes. In this program, we use the Kant's variable called price to determine the total value based on the number of items purchased. Because price is a constant, and we want to be able to access it throughout the program, we have declared it at the top of our program, outside of a function. This enables us to access price in the main function and the calculate total function. But what happens when we declare the price variable inside of the main function? We get an error that says price is not defined in the calculate total function. This means when we declare the price variable in the main function, we cannot access it inside of the calculate total function. This error has to do with variable scope. A variable's scope refers to which parts of a program can access and use it. When price is declared outside of any function, our program works because price's scope is the entire program, meaning that we can access it anywhere. In programming, we call this type of variable a global variable. A global variable is a variable that is created outside of a function. Its scope is the entire program, which means all parts of the program can access it. So by creating the variable price outside of a function, it is accessible in the main function, in the calculate total function, and outside of any function. When price was declared inside of the main function, the main function could use it, but the calculate total function was not able to access it. This is because price is what we call a local variable. A local variable is a variable that is created inside of a function. Its scope is the function in which it is created. So when we created the price variable inside of the main function, it can be accessed inside of the main function, but not inside the calculate total function and not outside of any function. We can only use the price variable inside of the function where it is declared. So how do you know when to create a local variable and when to create a global variable? First of all, you can ask yourself, do multiple functions need access to the variable? If the answer is yes, create the variable globally. Our price variable is a good example of this. The value of the price variable will not change, and we wanted multiple functions accessing it, so we made it a global variable. Another example when we might want to use a global variable is in an animated graphics program. We might want the move ball function and the check collisions function to both have access to the graphics variable ball. So we could declare the variable ball as a global variable so that multiple functions can access it. If only one of the functions needs access to the variable, then it should be created locally. When it comes to global and local variables, it is the best practice to lean toward creating local variables. This ensures that the variables are limited only to the scope they need. If not, we run the risk of changing or overriding a global variable when we don't mean to. Keeping that in mind, another best practice is to use parameters and return statements to pass local variable values between functions. Parameters and return statements are powerful because they enable us to pass information between functions while maintaining the scope of local variables. In this example, the num variable is local to main, but we can pass the value to the update num function using a parameter then return a value to be stored back into the local num variable. So to summarize, variable scope refers to where a variable is accessible in a program. Local variables are created within a function and are accessible only within that function. Global variables are created outside of a function and are accessible to all functions within a program. Parameters and return values enable us to pass local variable information between functions. Now that you know more about variable scopes, you can have more control of how you use and where you use variables in your programs. Let's take a look at an example together in the editor.